Welcome you two to It's Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got another video today from my godfather himself, Kevin Samuels. Everybody seems to be enjoying his videos and everybody keeps telling me to post more of his videos. I mean, there's plenty of people that tell me not to either and uh, dislike him, but I'm going to do it anyways. So, all right, please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And it's, uh, let's get to the chow. It's chow time, guys. The relationship contract, the social contract between men. Now you're having to, you're actually having to do what men are doing to get women. See, what women used to do to get a man was just have a low body count, no kids. And if you give me exclusive. Yep. It's awesome. I think that uh, back in those days, women didn't have to do much. I don't think it was hard for them to keep a low body count. And they weren't promiscuous. So they, they got wifed up pretty easily when they were younger well nowadays it's just these women are all confused why they aren't getting wifed up but they're not looking back at seeing what their mothers and you know grandmothers did to attract those men they just think they could still be themselves the modern feminist feminist self and all men just still just accept them the way they are exclusive access to your body and your womb i'll give you my exclusive access to my resources and my non-sexual attention. But now, women can make choices. Well, if you can't get yep. somebody to marry that, and you want somebody to grow old with, and you can't find them, you gotta rent them. Can I ask you a question? Sure. So let's say this hypo hypothetical 36-year-old woman who can't find a man. No, she's 40, so we're gonna put her in her 40s. Oh, we're putting her in her 40s. Because okay, no 36, it, well, okay. 36, they still feel young. That's why I said 36, 40, 60. Yeah. Let's make her 45. Yeah. At 36, a lot of them still do feel like they're young and they're just as good as the 22-year-olds or 25-year-olds. When they're in their 40s, when they start really questioning, are they uh, um, able to compete? Yeah. No kids, she's single, never been married, whatever you want, whatever background situation, and she can't find a man that she is ready, willing, and able to settle down with. You're, if she does, let's say, wasn't comfortable renting a man, why is it, in your opinion, that she can't, let's say, work on whatever it is that's making her unattractive to men? For but she's out of time. She, so 45. Yep. 45, she's running, the answer is she's running out of time. If she hasn't, out of time listen, listen. Wait, I didn't finish my question because she's running out of time biologically to have children, right? No, maybe that's over. Yeah, so maybe that's not her thing. Maybe she just wants a, a man, like, as a partner. But why are there no... Every, all the women always seem to assume that it's always the biological kids factor part. No, it's also the attitude that she's had for 45 years. Single 45 to 60 year old men that she can ballpark with, like go into that ballpark with. Why does she have to date someone who's answer? not looking for you want someone the answer? You want the answer? Yeah. Let them know. Okay. Because what, it, what, what this question belies is a women that you, you ladies don't understand me. If she's 45 and all these things, attractive or whatever, whatever, and if she hasn't been able to find a man at the peak of her hotness, she hasn't figured out what's wrong with her at 45. If she's just now starting to figure <laughs> it out, it's likely too late yes. to correct it. Okay. That's, that's a fair yep. point. Right? And there is not a lot of time for women to fix what... I put this video first because a lot of people seem to have issues with KS, especially women, I don't know, like what he tells women. And I think he is very, very reasonable. It's when women start getting irate and just, un you know, difficult is when he starts laying down, you know, the law in a sense. And even though when he lays down the law, he's just telling them the truth. You know, the, the, the I always bring up to the statement that my father always brought up, you know, people don't tell you bad things about yourself, especially, you know, to try to help you grow unless they truly cared. And I feel like KS really cared about women, especially black women, because he told them the truth and he knew he was going to get backlash for it. Yes, it gave him ratings and views, but from what from my growing up, the people that really do that in your life are the people that truly do care what's wrong and still find men uh, on a suitable level see at least this scenario you can actually rent a guy on the level you want to and pretend see men have always had to do that and see you okay. ladies in, in, in korea japan canada australia the uk birth rights are falling right. dating yep. in canada y'all are y'all are fooled why 
uh, it's a liberal, it's a liberal feminist paradise, and men are just tired of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, thirty six or thirty seven years old, you know, sixty seventy years ago, you'd have been married, had two or three kids by now, and been on the way to possibly being a grandmother. Yeah, at, at that age, I, I could see that that's very true. I just, I guess, for me, it was more difficult to swallow the idea of either you rent a husband or you die alone. Like, I feel like that's just. She didn't like the chow. She doesn't want to swallow that chow. Very, two very big extremes. Well, if you can't, okay. In the black community, one out of four black women will marry. What does that mean, the other three? The three that don't marry, what does that mean they're going to do? Tell me. No, no. If one out of four black women will marry in their lifetime, the three out of four women that don't marry in their lifetime, they're going to die what? Alone. I, I guess alone, or you know, could be in the just not married. Maybe they're in a relationship. Alone, means unmarried means alone. How we keep score? <laughs> okay, where okay. in the world? Where in the world can women live and exist? individually by themselves and survive without the help of the group this is true even men i mean yeah actually you so know like there's no there's rug enough men to be able to uh, live on their own actually so you're not meant to be alone on the planet you need the group you need nah, a man we are. that's the point yeah no I and, the, and, the, and, the, and the whole and, and here's the problem why it seems to be such an issue is because how extreme it sounds it almost seems punitive yeah, it does. Because it is. Okay, that's it. It is meant to be punitive. <laughs> you didn't. You. You, it you is. couldn't buy. You couldn't get a man doing your sexual marketplace value when it was the highest. You chosen to do whatever, whatever. You mismanaged your hot years. Now you gotta buy it. Mm -hmm. Men accept the punitive measure. See, if a man is physically unattractive, has no game, whatever, we understand it. We gotta go out and get resources and pay for it. That's punitive too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but don't you find that there's always that one like guy that you're describing right there that somehow ends up with the girl because maybe give a shit about I don't give a shit about that. The, and that's the problem. I haven't seen too many of these Disney movies. Go <laughs> yep. to a, go to a, go to the best strip clubs in your area on a Friday or Saturday night and look at all those hot women and look at all the guys in the audience. They're not hot guys. They're guys who realize yep. in order to get some time with her, I got to give her some money. And guys do that. Mm -hmm. But you probably have 100 strip clubs for men and for every one strip club you have for women. Because women think penis is free. It's not. It's only free uh, to a certain age. Right. Women <laughs> didn't exist for you. Damn. I love that statement, KS. Uh, penis is only free to a certain age. You hear that, women? <laughs> So uh, either you, I, I guess I don't want to say it, but don't don't indulge too much when you're too young, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then you're gonna I, get I, get point. I don't think everything you're saying is wrong. I guess I, I guess the punitive nature of it is not what I'm used to look how the way I look at the world. But you're you're, no, you're thirty you're thirty seven, and but tell me how I'm you look at it. If, I'm or thirty six, twenty seven. I'm sorry. Tell me how <laughs> you look at the 50. tell me tell me how you look at the world at, at age fifty two, unmarried with no children. Yeah, if that's the case, maybe I'll look at it the way that you do. But, are um, your mother and father married? Yes, they are. All right, how what, how long have they been married? 30 years. Uh huh. So what age did your mom get married? She was 29. 29. So uh, are you seeing anybody? Yes, I am. Okay, then don't blow it. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> because you don't want to end up being out here at 50 years old or 45 trying to rent a gent saying, that guy tried to tell me all those years ago. <laughs> Damn it, I just should have stayed in it. Because I've asked this question to women too. Ladies, if you knew now that the guy, the last guy you broke up with would have been your last guy ever you'd have gotten in life, would you have worked harder? And every woman has told me, yeah. That means I mean, KS's advice was solid for that woman. You know, even the way he said it about, you know, how women within this age range or, you know, later age ranges, he asks them all but they have just stuck with the last guy they were with instead of being single and lonely. He says majority of them, almost all of them say yes. You think that's rational? You think every woman you've ever met, you think all women are good men? I think that's a stupid question. Who the fuck are you talking to? Wait, the, uh, do you think- Who the fuck are you talking to? Who do you think you're talking to? 
I didn't mean to. Uh, I was just saying, I think in general, when men ask that question, it's just what's what's the answer you're looking for? Self-awareness that you ain't the, the truth. Shit. <laughs> I am so willing to submit. Okay, I'm a, a very naturally submissive person, but I cannot submit to a man who just doesn't have it there together. So what that's that my problem. What does that they mean? tell me that. What does that mean? What does that mean? That you don't have stability. You don't have um, a home of your own. You have a roommate. Your brother lives in the next room. So they're okay, all pookies and right race. That's what she's saying. These are men you've dated? These are men that I have dated, yes. You have a, you have a relationship with them? So this is the thing. Like, you know he, don't, he doesn't have these things. Why would you keep dating him? Oh, I know. It's because he is like top tier in looks. That's why you're dating him. Yes. So you'll date a man, have a man, but you don't submit to him. <laughs> I do, but I feel like. Um... But, but, but why are you having a with a man who doesn't have his shit together? You knew that before you did all that. Mm. Why didn't you marry your child's father? Why didn't I marry my daughter's father? Because I didn't want to. And he was, I mean, we were not, that was not the path that I took for a reason. I'm asking why. Uh, he asked me for the reason, I lady. I didn't want to. He wasn't marriage material. That was but he was we birth material. <laughs> he was someone that I did have a child with. No, man. And that's okay. See, I want you to, I mean, and, and see, the reason man, I'm doing this, man. I, I don't get it. Like, do you don't you think having a child with someone is much bigger commitment than marriage is? Why does everybody think the opposite nowadays? Like having kids in uh, you know without wedlock or un unwedlock or whatever to call it, it used to be so frowned upon before. Why? Because it's such a big commitment. You kind of need those papers and that other solid commitment in the relationship to say, yeah, we'll probably we'll probably stick it through. The reason I'm doing this is I want you to understand these women are so much character driven and I want you to listen to the answers. D get over my tone. Listen to the intent. You have two kids by two different men. How come yeah. neither one of those men chose to marry you? You know what? Because actually not, they was they were just wasn't in the life path for me to marry. I was young. I was young. And for one, one of the men, I mean, that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you can marriage is a natural choice because if marriage was a spiritual choice god would be responsible for all the divorces and he is not but god created marriage no he did not oh uh, yes he <laughs> no he didn't okay you're going to argue okay I'm not going to argue you're 24 okay, you're not going to argue with me because one i know what i'm talking about and i can First of all, even if you're a Christian, you shouldn't be arguing with me in the first place. I'll be correct. Uh, this, is, this is where I talk about, you know, respecting your elders. She's 20, what, four? He's 40. He's almost has double the years of your life. And you're going to try to, like, correct them on things, like, publicly like that. Like, but this is where I think... Um, the respect for elders isn't there in the West. Yes, I know not every elder re deserves respect, but they all deserve a certain level of respect. They don't deserve absolute respect. But when you meet people, you don't just disrespect people. That's just not how things should be done. Were, were Adam and Eve married? Yes. Who performed the ceremony? Jesus did. Oh God. shit! <laughs> I don't know anything about religions on other than Buddhists too much, but uh, even I know that Adam and Eve didn't get married. <laughs> Seriously? I'm saying oh shit because you are you serious? God, Adam and Eve were married. 
There was only one person on the planet. It was Adam. God put him to sleep and he re wrote, went inside of him, took out a rib and said, flesh of my flesh. He, he made Eve. He, he presented Eve to Adam. They didn't get married. Who, who did the ceremony? Simba? <laughs> I'm stingy with it. I do not give it up easily. Were you married to your Were you married to your daughters? You were your baby mama, though, right? Baby, I've never been married, no. But I just okay. Don't, so I know hold on, hold on. Let me let, let's talk about this though. See, um, I find it funny that women like yourself, baby mamas, all of a sudden want to get stingy with the puss after you didn't gave your womb up before a ring, but then you want the high value men. To put a ring mm -hmm. on it before he gets it? So am I supposed to give it away? You got damn right you already did. Because here's the thing. See, that's what I mean. <clears throat> Man, you're a used vehicle wanting brand new 2021 prices. What does he do for a living? He's a skyscraper. Say again. Skyscraper, right? <laughs> Is he a building? <laughs> Oh, so you man. That up by say again. He does what? I say he's a skyscraper. That's what I said. What does that mean? Well, let's just simplify it. He um he puts elevators into buildings. That's you know, a skyscraper is built. just telling you what he does. Well, that's the work he does, sir. That's what he considers himself. That's the <laughs> job title that he gave, and that's what I'm giving you. <laughs> You become an exhaustible resource that you will be used up until you break. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. And then you'll be discarded because you were never their first pick. Definition of entanglement. Yes. It's when you tangle in the sheets. That's why you always want to be the first pick, man. You can become one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, squeaky clean image. Women love you around the world and this is what's going on in your house. Your wife is in love with a dead man. Dear, dear Tupac, I know you are alive someplace. I think my mommy really misses you. Can you please come back? Can you come back so me and my mommy can be happy? I wish you were here, I really do. Tupac got killed in what, 95, 96? Willow never met Tupac. Why is this little girl writing a letter to Tupac? Why is Will Smith's daughter writing a letter to Tupac? What is being said in that house to get this little girl not writing Santa Claus, not writing the Easter Bunny, writing Tupac? Hope you guys like that. Ciao. Again, thank everybody for all the subscribers. Uh, please go and take out that uh, 500 subscriber um, episode. It's just a little bit about me. If you guys are interested about that, if not, then it's all right. No big deal. All right. Thank you guys. Put a love and, love. Put a like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, catch you guys next time. It's ciao time.